everyone and welcome back to my channel this is Meg and today we're going to be talking skincare I'm going to show you guys some of my go-to products that I use now I do not have perfect skin it is far from perfect and it's one of the things that I kind of like struggle with and I'm always trying to find something that's going to work for me and kind of improve the quality of my skin so first I'll tell you a little bit about my skin and the things that I deal with even now being 26 I still get breakouts my skin is now dry because it's winter and I f it's just like it never ends like you feel like oh like you know you're getting older your skin's gonna be better you're not gonna have to worry about it I don't know what it is if it's like hereditary or what I still get breakouts and it's crazy um so one thing that I struggle with the most I mean I feel like breakouts like whatever they happen then they go away is the size of my pores and I feel like they're right here kind of like in the center part of my face um, and I just feel like no matter what kind of primer I put on or what I do, you can still kind of see them through my foundation. So that's something that I am like always looking for things to try to kind of like smooth that out and make it look smoother when I put my foundation on. Um, but I will show you one thing that will help with the texture of your skin. Um, and yeah, so now that it's dry, I've switched to a different moisturizer. Most of the things I use are from Origins. Um, we live near um, a post exchange because my husband's in the Army, so I get most of my skincare on base. They just happen to sell Origins there. Um, and it's a couple dollars cheaper, and you don't have to pay tax, so that's nice. But when um, before, I used to buy it at Macy's because that's where you know I went and had a consultation and the lady was super nice and she sat me down tried a bunch of different things on my skin to see you know what I liked and what my skin type was so I definitely recommend if you don't have a current like skincare routine that you're using right now you know stop in your local department store that's what they're there for they're there to help you and make sure you voice your concerns so that you don't get home and have the wrong product I've heard so many times of girls like they're still getting oily throughout the day or their skin's just not looking right and it could be you know the type of moisturizer or primers that you're using that they're not for your skin type so you definitely have to make sure that you voice your opinion in a nice way and tell them you know this is how my skin is this is the finish I'm looking for and then they'll be able to steer you towards products that are going to fit your skin type um, so don't be afraid that when you go into the makeup counter to tell the sales person you know what you're looking for I worked um, at a Nordstrom for a little over a year and it's very helpful when the customer voices their opinion so that you can help them find the right product that they're gonna be happy with so Saying that, um, first time I've ever used Origins was about two years ago. Before that, I had used Clinique, I had used uh, MAC. So I use... First, I'm going to show you what I use to take off my makeup at night. So if I have makeup on or even just powder or anything like that, I always take my makeup off first before I wash my face. So I buy these at Costco, and they are just the Kirkland Daily Facial Towels. These are better than any face wipe I've ever tried. Um, I've tried the Neutrogena, the Oil of Olay, the Target brand. They they are so like juicy, which I f hate when I get a makeup wipe and they're dry. I feel like I'm scraping my skin off. Um, I Some of my friends use baby wipes and they're just not like, they're just, they don't have enough juice in them to actually take all my makeup off. These I can use one wipe. I get all my mascara, all my eyeliner, everything comes off and I love them they seriously these are the best and they come in a pack I think you get like six of these huge packs you get 30 in each pack and I want to say they're around $13.99 um, so if you are a member at a Costco I would highly recommend picking these up because they're very affordable the big pack will last you a long time or you could even split it you know with your mom or your sisters or something like that but this I love these are these are great I always have these on hand so then after that, the next thing I use is my Clarisonic. Now this is the Clarisonic, Clarisonic Mia, and I have the normal face uh, head on it. It has the gray little band. That means it's normal, and they also have a sensitive one, and I think the band is white. They have a, d a bunch of different, you know, um, face brushes depending on what your skin type is. So this is the Mia, and I my husband bought this for me... Hmm. three Christmases ago 
And this was the one of the best gifts he's ever given me. He surprised me with it. I was wanting one so bad. And he's like, I don't get it. Why do you need a giant toothbrush for your face? I'm like, you don't understand. It's amazing. It takes all your makeup off and it helps the texture um, of your skin. I notice such a difference in, when I use this. Um, my skin starts to clear up. This It feels smoother. And I don't really... I use this every night um, or every time I take a shower, I always use this. And I love it. I used to always use face scrubs and now I find I don't really use a face scrub as much because this does the job. It keeps my skin, you know, regenerating and turning over and it also removes all of my makeup so there's nothing left on my face. Now, the face wash that I always use, and this is probably my fourth bottle, is the Origins Checks and Balances. And this is awesome because it's it says it's a frothy face wash. And I find that it's more moisturizing, especially with the Clarisonic, than like a gel-based cleanser. I used to use um, like the Clinique Bar Soap back in the day, and I find that it just stripped my face of... And you know when you wash your face and it feels tight? This is not going to do that. It's more moisturizing. It's not going to feel like you just had a facelift and you can barely like smile or anything. So this is awesome, and it does take all your makeup off, so I love that. Next at night, what I follow up with is the Origins High Potency uh, Night Amends. And this is a thicker, creamy um, moisturizer. And it's perfect for in the winter time. It smells so good. And it just looks like that. It's just a white cream. Kind of smells like citrusy. And I love this. This says it's minerally enriched renewal cream. And it's just, it's thicker. So it's really nice for the winter time. And I use this at night. Next, what I do, um, well actually before I would put my face uh, lotion on, I use this toner. And this is from Bliss and it's the Daily Detoxifying Toner. I like it. Um, it's not stripping. It doesn't feel like um, there's a lot of alcohol. I actually don't think that there is any alcohol in this at all. But this is great. It just helps to cleanse even more and preps your skin so that your your moisturizer can sink in. So I've been liking this. I also went through a couple bottles of the Origins uh, toner and that's really good too. I just wanted to try something different. So I would do that and then my moisturizer stuff. Now if I am having a breakout, I will use this tiny little bottle and it's the Origins Super Spot Remover and it's an acne treatment gel and it's salicylic acid. So I know a lot of different companies um, will do the salicylic acid. This is just the one that I like. I find it really works. You only need a little bit of it and just put it on whatever problem spots you have and it will help clear it up quicker. Daytime, I've been using this Origin Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. This is a little bit more lightweight than um, the night one. So this is great for, you know, under primers. It's not going to feel too heavy on your skin, but it's still going to moisturize. And this, this is actually a smaller bottle. Um, over Christmas, this, this, and a mini face wash all came together, so that was a really great deal. Um, skincare I love to buy when they have the sets out because I feel like you get more, and then, you know, I would have never tried this if it didn't come in that, and I love it, and I'll definitely be purchasing the full size of that. Um, now for an eye cream, I use the Origins um, Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream, and this has caffeine in it, so it's going to help depuff, you know, help it appear brighter under the eye, and I really love this stuff kind of just like a pinky color. It doesn't really have a smell to it. I put this on every morning and it helps, you know, your under eye concealer go on smoother. And it's never too early, I don't think, to start, you know, preventing signs of aging for your skin. Um, especially in the winter time, your skin just gets so dry it drinks it up. So I highly recommend that. Every time I do like bride's makeup or, you know, for specialty makeup or stuff like that, I always will put an eye cream on them because it just helps the concealer look much nicer when it goes on. And then if I am really having issues with my skin or I want to do a treatment or something like that, um, I've been using this Origins Clear Improvement and it's like a black clay mask and it has active charcoal which says here it acts like a magnet to draw out deep dwelling pore cloggers and it has white china clay in it. This I love. You put this on, it like sucks it out, everything. Your skin is like tight. I love this stuff. I don't do it very often because it, it can be a little bit, not harsh, but in the winter time, I wouldn't do it more than maybe once a week. Um, so then I do this and then just do my toner and then my moisturizer. 
So this I love. This is an awesome, awesome face mask. And this I purchased at Macy's. I bought this a while ago and I still have a lot left. Like I don't use this too, too much, but this is amazing. So that's everything. That is my current skincare routine. I know a lot of it is Origins, but like I said, I've tried other brands. I've done a lot of drugstore brands. I used to have the Burt's Bees, Neutrogena, and I just keep coming back and repurchasing this stuff like routine. this scene as of right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions or you guys have any great products, listen down below in the comments. And thank you again for watching. Bye, guys.